Hi everyone, welcome back to this course of data science and machine learning. Now we are going to start with the next step that is we will start with decision tree regression. Before just jumping into the regression part, let's look into what exactly is a decision tree. Previously we have completed simple linear regression, multivariate linear regression and then we also looked into polynomial regression. Now let's look into what exactly is a decision tree first. Decision tree is one of the most commonly used practical approach for supervised learning. It can be used for both regression and classification tasks. So this is basically based on a flowchart kind of system. So decision tree is mostly a decision making tool that uses a flowchart like tree structure or you can say it's a model of decision. What I mean by this is uh, so in the decision tree, we have different nodes, different units, and each of this unit is uh, a representation of some logic, some decision. Okay, and it can be used for regression and classification tasks. So before just going into backend and the actual algorithm behind the decision tree, let's just have a glimpse of the regression tree. And then once we start with the classification task, we will go much deeper into the algorithm part or the basically the maths part. So let's look into this. So it's a tree structure classifier which has different entities. Before jumping into entities, let's look into this example. So this is a node. What we call this is a node. So this is a node. Okay. This is a node. All of these are different nodes. Okay, each node is responsible for a decision. So each node is having some sort of decision. And this decision is responsible for some uh, logic or some prediction. So over here, we have a question if a person is fit or unfit. So this is a flowchart. This is regarded as a flowchart. Okay, from this flowchart, we will be able to predict out if a person is fit or unfit. So first we check if the age is greater than or less than 30 or not. If the age is less than 30, it will move over here. Yes, the age is less than 30. We will check if he eats pizza or not. If yes, he is eating pizza, he will be unfit, else he will be fit. Same thing for other case also. If the age is less than that, okay, or more than that. So if age is less than 30, no, it will move over here. And then we will check if the person is exercising. If the person is exercising, he is fit, else he is unfit. So let's take an example. Age 24. So my age is 24 and let's check if I'm fit or not. So age is 24. We will check if age is less than 30. True, we will move down over here. Now, there's a question comes into play. It eat pizza or not? Am I eating pizza? Mm, casually, yes. So I am unfit according to this. Though, on the other hand, corresponding in reality, I might be a bit of uh, in the fit case, but I'm unfit according to my model of this. That's how the decision tree algorithm is based on. It is based on nodes. Each node is responsible for some kind of decision and from that decision, we are able to predict different stuff. Now, what we have over here is the classification part. This is an example of the classification problem. But we need to implement this in the regression model. So let's look into how that works out for us. So these are the various key terms that we have for decision tree. One, we have the root node. The root node is the topmost node Okay, it is the topmost uh, responsible of the decision. From this, the other nodes grow up behind of this. Okay, root node is the initial node which represents the entire sample and may get split further into further nodes. Decision nodes is, this is node. Decision node, a tree node or parent node that is splits into one or more child nodes. So, if we go down, let's say there's one more node. Okay, this is a decision node which may or may not split into child node. So if this is a parent node, what we have down of this are the child node. So these are the child node. Okay. 
for the this is the topmost is the root node then we have parent nodes for again for this we have child node the root node is also the parent node for this one so if we mark this node uh, let's say l2 so l2 is the child of root r okay l2 is the child of root r same thing we can have over here we have a decision node and accordingly we have a child node over here then we have leaf node leaf node are the endmost node which represents the outcome basically we have the process of splitting this is one more word that you should be just knowing about our data splitting splitting means the process of dividing a node into two or more child nodes okay this uh, so we have the l2 node l2 node is broken down into c1 and c2 so l2 represents c1 and c2 so it has been broken down okay just storing uh, writing it out pruning is just the pro process uh, just the opposite of splitting that is removing the child nodes from a decision node is known as pruning so we remove c1 c2 from l2 and we just this process is known as pruning so these are the terms that are related to decision tree and we will know more about them once we look into the algorithm part that will be uh, basically on the classification when we start with classification so i hope decision tree make a bit of sense to you now let's look back into the example of fit and unfit so what we have over here this is the root node okay and all of these that we have this is a decision node okay this is a decision node or an interior node okay you can call this interior node this is again an parent node and what we have over here are the leaves or the outcomes okay these are the outcomes unfit is an outcome fit is an outcome fit unfit is an outcome these are decision nodes okay this is a exercise and eat pizza node is the child node for the parent node age age is also the root node of it that's how you can beat it so what happens in this is it is run completely through the entire tree by answering true false question till it reaches the leaf node so whenever you pass in some new data it will just move into the complete data set so all the data uh, the complete data set that we have then we pass in some new data it will just move into this node and check if it is true or false if it is true it will move over here if it is false it will move over here again for eat pizza it will check if it is true it will move over here if it is false it will move over here same thing for exercise so basically it is a flowchart and whenever you pass in new data we are able to predict it by simple true and false uh, notations okay the final prediction is the average of the value of the dependent variable in that particular leaf node Though multiple uh, iteration, the tree is able to predict a proper value for the uh, data point. So whenever we pass in the data set, so let's say we have some sort of a data set. Okay, we have some sort of a data set, and when we pass this data set into our decision tree algorithm, what it does, it basically builds an uh, flowchart. Okay, so in inside of it, it uh, builds an flowchart. It builds and flowchart for it okay and whenever you pass in some new sort of data okay let's say this is the test case which is having one two three values we pass the three values and for all of these three values we check if uh, what is the leaf node for it that is how basically the decision tree works